Olivier, did it, did it hit you yet? Or, or how did it feel when it hit you that you just played your last game out there? I mean, I guess I kind of feel the fact that it was the last game in the TBA, but if I'm being honest with you, uh, we still got a lot, long, long way to go. So, no, I'm not done yet, and that's kind of the only thing that's been on my mind. What was kind of the team's response in that timeout after some time was down, and how were you all able to rally so well? We've always been the kind of team where one of us goes down, somebody's ready to step up, and we we really unfortunate it's really unfortunate it's really you know we need z and we hoping that everything is okay with him and and he's he's doing well but uh whenever whenever somebody's struggling we have their back whether that's them having a bad game or them getting hurt or anything like that you guys have seen it you know anytime anything goes down like that with us we all step up and really focus on you know making sure that <clears throat> we play harder and everybody fills in for whatever is missed but like like you guys know, Z is a really big part of this team, and we're hoping for for his recovery and that he's feeling he's feeling well. What was it like seeing Santi kind of go back out there and run point guard primarily, kind of like he did, I guess, early on in his career? Uh, I think he did a great job, and uh, it was it was good to see that he handled it as well as he did. You know, honestly, if I'm being honest with you guys, when I saw Joe play point guard, that's what really gave me some flashbacks. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's that was when I was really looking back, thinking freshman year. <laughs> but yeah, if I'm being honest, it was I really noticed more Joe being out there at running point than I did with Santi. But because Santi does do it every once in a while anyway. But when Joe got out there and ran point, I was like, yo, that ain't happening in a long time. <laughs> Rick talked about how tough Arkansas is to defend offensively, and you all were great defensively tonight. What, what do you think? allowed you all to be so successful in the defense then? Uh, we had a great scout and our preparation was good. Our scout team gave us a really good look at what they were going to do. And I feel like everybody down to a man was really locked in, knowing what they had to do personally. And honestly, with our defense, you know, anybody can be hard to guard, but I feel like we have the ability to figure it out and we can shut down anybody in the country. What did you see from, from Tobe out there towards the, the end of the first half and just kind of talk about his growth uh, on, as an offensive rebounder as, and his ability to be a little bit more aggressive towards the end of the season? Tobe is an enforcer, man. He's an enforcer, and, and you know he uses his physical abilities really well. He's strong, and he knows it. And I love the way he plays. He attacks the boards, and he attacks, you know, he attacks every position that he's out there on offense. If he catches in this area, He's going to will his way to a couple buckets, and I love that for him. And I love that for us. It's going to be a big time for us in many games, and it already has been. You said that you didn't really think about this being your last one. You're just, but there's a lot of basketball left. What gives you that confidence right now with this team that if that's what you see coming kind of next month looking like? Regardless of what we've been through, that's the confidence I've had on uh, with this team since day one. And nothing has made me waver in that. I've, I've believed in what we can do as a unit. Since we started this year, <clears throat> we have guys who know how to fight through adversity. We have guys who have fought through adversity. And, you know, down, down the line, we got guys who can handle it. And I know we have everything that we need to make, make it happen, make some shake. Olivia, I know you said there's a lot of basketball left, but have you put any thought towards uh, possibly returning next season or, or what's next for you? Uh, I don't know. I feel like it's, it's better if you guys, you guys just make your own theories about that for now, you know. I'm focused on playing basketball and, you know, whatever happens, happens. What do you guys have to do consistently moving forward without the guys to keep playing at the level you all played at tonight without? Guys going to have to step up. Shaq's going to have to step up. Santi's going to have to step up to that point guard position a little bit. You know, you saw, like I said, you saw Joe do it. He's going to have to, guys just going to have to step up. It's, it's no, <clears throat> there's no room for feeling sorry for ourselves. There's no room for feeling down on ourselves. No room. You know, obviously we're all going to feel bad about it because, you know, somebody got hurt and it's really tough when one of your brothers gets hurt. But there's no room for self-doubt. There's no room for, you know, any kind of negative thoughts to creep into our game plans. There's no room to feel like, we can't do it anymore because we're missing something. We just got to have confidence in what we have because what we have can can make something really special happen. Olivia, uh, I think there was one point where you guys were running three big lineup. How comfortable are you guys with running that three big lineup? 
Um, I'm personally really comfortable with it because I feel like I can guard one through five, especially with the type of team that we have. You know, everybody helps everybody and has each other's backs. So I think I think with the versatility versatility that we have on the team, you know, I trust Jonas to be able to guard really well. You know, if, if he has to get out on a guard, he's gonna space him and be able to contest. Rush and Toby can do the same thing. Honestly, Toby, I feel like Toby's getting to the point where kind of like me, if he's really locked in, he can guard one through five. You know, uh, I think I'm really confident in that lineup. And if we need to, you know. <clears throat> If we put three bigs out there, there's not a lot of people that's going to want to come crash the glass and, and is going to be able to physically match what we're doing. So even if you'd be worried about somebody having to guard guards, you didn't just flip it around and be like, we're on the offensive glass. Who's going to guard? Who's Which one of their guards is going to guard me on the block, guard Toby on the block? Then who are they going to end up putting on Jonas? And then we're going to have guards knowing that we have a bunch of bigs in there so they can just shoot the ball knowing, you know, it's three big guys going to rebound and you guys know how good we can be on the offensive board. So, you know, it's dangerous with how many lineups that we can put together. And, you know, I have confidence that coach knows what he's doing and he's going to figure out who needs to be out there at what time. Finish up with Wes. Olivia, yeah, I know y'all have a lot of confidence in your defense no matter what, but Arkansas, I think it's scored like 88 points per game the past three games. Up eight here in Tuscaloosa over the weekend. When you don't watch the film, did you know what kind of challenge like this could be if y'all weren't locked in? Yeah, yeah, you know, we knew coming in, like, th that group of guys, credit to them, they're really talented. They have a lot of talent on that team, and, and we were able to, you know, mess with them a little bit today. But we knew that coming in, they're going to be aggressive. They had a bunch of guys who could go off and, and get to their shots. You know, Anthony Black was getting, getting downhill, he was getting fouled, he was doing what he does. <clears throat> you know, uh, Nick was Nick Smith was was you know he was doing his thing. He was trying to get the shots up. So all of those guys were being aggressive and they were doing their thing. But we just had to respond. And like you said, they could have gone for 88, but we you know we listened to our our coaches, executed scout, and everybody was locked in. Even with a couple breakdowns, everybody was doing what they needed to do, and we all had each other's back. So we were able to figure it out. And honestly, I feel like. That's, that's going to be the case as long as we're locked in with any team that we play. Thank you. What was the decision about the Kobe's tonight? Man, I love them Kobe's, man. Actually, one of the pieces of the laces almost broke today. I was so sad, but I was able to figure it out. I love them Kobe's, man. I need some more Kobe's. Shoot. I need some more Kobe's. <laughs> My theories are coming back.